Hi, I'm Terry Cohen from Finding Drishti Podcast. I am kicking off a little video series here because I learned that <laughs> after some requests that people didn't really understand as they were finding my podcast what I meant by certain terms. And because I record my classes when I'm doing them live with my students that I normally uh, practice with, um, things get lost from <laughs> having a visual cue in class and being able to demo and what you hear on the podcast. So this series will be going through kind of my terrorisms, the, the terms that I use in class um, that seem to make the most sense uh, to me and my students who get to practice with me live. And um, we're gonna break them down. So today we're gonna talk about Captain Morgan Lex. So Captain Morgan of the rum <laughs> has just been this weird, uh, thing that's been running through my life. I used to work in advertising. I was in San Francisco right after I graduated college and one of my big accounts that I worked on was Captain Morgan. So um, he came up then and again when I was in labor with my older son, the nurse knew that I wanted to do an epidural free birth or try to and she gave me some really great tips and again these Captain Morgan legs came up. So. Let me show you what it looks like first and then we'll walk through some variations from there. So coming from a downward facing dog, you lift your right leg high, trying to prepare, you to step the foot through, set the back knee down, right? So you wanna give yourself a little bit of space, kind of like when you're coming into Anjaneyasana. The difference is that you're gonna turn this back leg. You're gonna swivel the knee, toes now point off to the side. So I have my right foot forward, I have my left toes now pointing over to the right, and then you're gonna come up. And here's where Captain Morgan is. Okay, so he always has kind of his hand leaned forward, he always has his foot lifted up on something like a barrel of rum. And we're gonna be nice and proud with our chest and through the spine. So I use this in a few different ways. This is a great kind of variation of coming into extended side angle without putting um, all of that lift through the leg. So having this knee down still gives you the same kind of movement through the hips. And you can kind of see where this is going if you're having labor pains, right? Opening the hips. And then you can take it in any different which way, right? Coming into modified extended side angle. You can work hand down to the inside, getting a really big opening across the chest. You can also walk those hands forward like you're coming into downward facing dog. Nice long stretch here, keeping the hips up high and pushing them back. And then here's another one for those of you guys who might be prenatal students. Just kind of swirling through the hips. It's a great big hip opener. Lowering that baby. <laughs> So this is a really nice way to just work the hips, just a different variation without having to do something really huge. This is nice to stay closer to the floor, a little bit more grounded. So yeah, this is what I mean by Captain Morgan legs. We have a bunch of other ways that we can move from here. I can take this all the way to the back of my mat, extend my front leg forward, extending the right arm overhead, and working our way back. So there you go, Captain Morgan legs. This is gonna be toes off to the side. So this foot has now been turned 90 degrees. You're gonna keep your front foot and your front knee pointing forward. You wanna make sure that the hips stay up high. I don't often sink back. That's a whole other different set of sensations in the inner thigh. I mean, I guess you could work that if you really wanted to, but this is the general shape here. So if you hear me in class, in my podcast, mention Captain Morgan legs, that's what I mean. Thanks for joining me. I will bring another <laughs> explanation of materialism in the next video.